Pay attention, might learn something. Follow in the molly, I like this. There's gonna be a faster push from Team Liquid dashing out towards the site. For one, oh, he goes back into the molly. That's so good, man. Welcome to the Headshot, where we break down all the latest and greatest from the Valorant Champions Tour. First up, we've got some of the best plays from last week's Challengers event. Let's take a look at the standings after last week's Challengers main events. It's a return to form for two giants in the EU scene, Fnatic and Team Liquid. They took the top two places at last week's Challengers main event, qualifying them both into the EMEA Challengers finals. Fnatic's roster formerly played under the name Summon FC and had great results in 2020, finishing second place in first strike. 2021 has been a shaky year for them up until now, where they finally took the win over Team Liquid. A magnum swing, and he gets the ace! PVL is back on top in Turkey. After a few weeks of rough results, they took the win at the Challengers Week 2 main event. BBL will advance into the EMEA Challengers Finals alongside other Turkish representatives, Footballist and Oxygen Esports. With BBL in Pool A and Footballist in B, we could see a Regional Masters Grand Finals rematch. Over in Brazil, we've locked in our first four teams for Challengers Finals. Gamelanders and Furia, who took wins at the Week 2 main event, as well as the runners-up Team Vikings and Shark Esports. These four teams will compete for a chance at Masters Reykjavik, alongside the four qualifiers from the Week 3 main event. O Saci tem que pressionar, o Niang já fez metade, bem avança, vai jogar o Saci, levou o primeiro, Saci vai se derrubar do Niang! Vision Strikers' 102-game win streak has finally come to a close in Korea. They had their first ever loss as an organization in Challengers last week as F4Q knocked them into the Group A lower bracket. Ganga, Ganga, Ganga! Strikers now must defeat I Need Girlfriend this week in order to qualify into their regional playoffs. Gambit Esports took the win in Challengers CIS Week 2 main event, securing their spot in the EMEA Challengers Finals. As CIS's most constant and dominant team, they'll definitely be ones to watch this event. Most of SEA played Challengers main events as well, with a couple more teams qualifying into SEA Challengers finals. Bren Esports from the Philippines and Team NXL from Indonesia. CBT Gaming took the win in Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Paper Rex did the same in Malaysia, Singapore. Both teams will advance into Challengers 3 to fight for a chance at the SEA Challengers Finals. For more results from other regions and open qualifiers, head on over to ValorantEsports.com. Let's head over to NA to see who will be our team to watch this week. At long last, fan favorites TSM have qualified into another Challengers main event. 2021 has been a difficult year for the TSM squad. They were once regarded as NA's best team, but they've struggled to live up to that title so far in the BCT. They've only qualified into one other Challengers main event, where they finished sixth place. After a disappointing stage one, TSM made the ambitious move of signing Brax as their sixth player. TSM played with Brax in stage two week one and then swapped back to Hayes for week two. But in the end, it was the op god Wardell who stepped it up with an amazing performance for the week two open qualifier. Highlight reel at the end of this game is gonna be just Wardell and then more <laughs> yeah. Wardell. He put up a whopping 28 kills against Gen G on ascent, landing himself a peak average combat score of 381 on that one map alone. They're peaking up, it's too easy for him. TSM made a bold bet on a six man roster with hopes of being the most versatile team at Masters Reykjavik, the VCT's first international LAN event. Stopping him. It's the no. Wardell show. Will this move pay off for them? Can they defeat powerhouse teams like Sentinels and Immortals to earn their spot at Masters? 
Tune in this weekend to find out. TSM look to close it out on the retake. The paranoia goes through all five members. Sabrosa cuts down two inside Garage. We're down to find another, and this could be it. As Kusta hops up, Sabrosa finds a 3K on the round. Make it for the Hunter's Fury as the cherry on top. And TSM close us out 2-0 fashion. Before we wrap things up, we've got a special announcement for you. Let's have some fun. Masters Reykjavik will also debut Valorant's newest map, Breeze, in competitive play. With six maps in rotation, we'll be introducing a new map veto and selection process that will take place ahead of each match. I'm impressed. Be sure to tune in on May 24th to watch all the best pro teams from around the world competing on Breeze for the first time ever. The competition in Iceland is going to blow you away. Which team do you think will dominate Breeze when it drops? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the action. Thanks for watching The Headshot. For upcoming matches and schedules, check out ValorantEsports.com. We'll see you next week for more updates on all things Valorant Champions Tour.